Sup everybody, it's Dee's bro, I got another reaction, I'm about to react Jesse Lee Peterson again. <laughs> so, you know uh, Jesse, Lee. Jesse Lee Peterson, he always says something that's funny, but it has, a, a, it's, it has some facts, it, has, it makes sense, but at the same time he trolls them at the same time, man. So, hey, let's just, let's go straight into it now, alright? So it's about around 9 minutes, so yep. I you ready. So let me ask, I have uh, interviewed a lot of liberals on my show here, and I noticed that liberals are easily triggered. You know what I'm saying? I'm calm as a cucumber. Uh, why are so many liberals easily well, triggered? Well, hold up, hold up. So it said, though, guess why? Why are you so easy triggered? Trigger, that's what it says. Now, he said he don't get that. It's not easy for him to get mad, basically. So let's see. Let's see. It's because it's be, there's an enormous assault of bullshit coming at like, everybody in this country who's fair-minded these days and who cares about those who are in need and cares about the state of the environment, the planet, the country, the rule of law, the state of facts. And so there's a lot coming at us, and we need to speed up our pace at addressing these problems. And when there's a lot of bullshit and there's a guy literally making up garbage every day and his swallowers, his followers swallow it up, they should call him his swallowers because they really just swallow whatever he gives them, puts right in their mouth. And you're doing the same. Just take whatever that Trump says uncritically. He, so, he makes up hey, things and they're facts to you. Come back. And he, come back. And he, you're deviating. Come back. And, but, but, hey, and then come back. facts, come back. even about our troops. So you're saying Even that, about our troops, that's not a fact to you. You're saying that liberals are easily triggered because... After a while, they can't handle the situations that are happening in their lives. No, because it's very important to be passionate about the problems we're facing. Amazing. Triggered is the same as being passionate about things. <laughs> so even for the men, I mean, well, I mean, if you're mad though, that's not really passionate. You know, that's you're just pissed off and stuff. I mean, you can have passionate and everything, but if you get mad and err, that's all bad. It's all bad. Oh. So, so that's wrong, man. Even for the men, it's okay that they should be triggered, that they give in to being triggered because they're being passionate. Well, men historically are a lot more triggered, triggerable than women. Women are, generally speaking, more even keel in a public square. Men are the ones who started all the wars in history, if you look at it. That's amazing. Facts or not facts? <laughs> that's amazing. Facts or not facts? Um, Ignore the question. All right. Are most liberal men beta men? <laughs> Beta male. <laughs> I don't think so. Why they either trigger? Because only a beta male would be triggered. No, because Trump snowflakes are the most triggerable people in the world. Have you ever? You been say triggered? one thing against Trump and they lose their minds. Have you ever been triggered before? Sure. When the last time you were triggered? I get triggered oftentimes. And what? What? When you in that in a situation and you a trigger, what happens during that situation that made you lose it? People say lies blatantly to my face. They share opinions that disregard the well-being of millions of people in this country to just for some reason line further the pockets of rich corporations that they don't even work for or benefit from because they're brainwashed by the president. And that's pretty scary and triggering to me. On your video I saw where you were triggered on Tommy Lahren's show. Uh -huh. What was that like to be triggered in front of women? A lot of people don't know this, but the best way to make money on uh, YouTube yeah. in 2023 is not by being... You don't like women so much, huh? No, women... Hey, that's true, though, man. You sh if a girl is, you have a disabate, uh, like having to debate to a... If you're a man to a woman and you get pissed off, it's like, man, unless she's disres disrespectful and like trying to put hands on you, something like that, then I understand that. But if you just have a conversation, I don't know because i never seen the whole thing, what they're saying, but... Yeah, man. You need to be like just look and laugh. Oh, that's what I do. People say something that don't make no sense to me. I just look at them like this and I just laugh in front of them like, dude, what the hell are you talking about, man? Y'all some boo boo all the time. I for you to be triggered in front of women. It doesn't bother me to be triggered in front of a woman any more than it does in front of a man because I think all people are equal. It's an idea you should look into. You were not embarrassed by that, that the women saw that you were being triggered? Oh no, I'm, I don't have a fragile male ego like you do. I have a very strong male ego that is able to show a full range of emotions and not have it crumble me like a very weak exterior that you're putting out to the world. But I'm, he, even I'm the comfortable woman, having emotion in front of all people, even in front of animals. Even one of the women made a joke about you being triggered. Uh -huh. She said, oh, what is he, a comedian? Uh -huh. 
Did that bother you, though? Well, it was, a very, it was a very unintelligent, silly comment. In I wish I'd seen this now, so I could know any time Because about. she saw my clear, real emotion, and she just tried to diffuse it by not acknowledging the reality of it, because there's no facts that can defend these indefensible policies, refusing even common sense gun control. Did you, feel, did you feel like a beta male when she made a joke about you being triggered? No, I don't look at, at humanity or masculinity in such stark, primitive, uninformed terms as beta or alpha. Beta! Alpha! <laughs> I'm alpha, baby, but a true alpha? Did you feel like an alpha is... male when you were triggered and the woman made a joke about you being triggered? Oh, absolutely I did. You felt like an alpha? Absolutely I did. I tore off my mic and stormed out. It's a pretty strong thing to do. Strong. Are you married? Oh, I'm not married, but let me say one thing. And I'm having, by the way, so much premarital sex it would, it would blow your mind, but let me, uh, <laughs> let me make very clear something else. One of the great problems with society is that here, people think admitting mistakes or showing emotion is weakness. It's the exact opposite. People who are afraid to admit mistakes, unable to because they think it'll crack the shell of their very fragile Humpty Dumpty ego, or afraid to show emotions and have to have this rigid, false, 50-year-ago version of what masculinity is, are people who are so fragile that they lose their mind if you make one joke about their dear leader Trump. To be a real man, you have to be able to experience the full range of emotion, admit a mistake. Yeah, but at the same time, for you, him though, whoever he is, he's talking about he's talking about that. But when he gets triggered for, I mean, I wish I could see it though, but I guess he got triggered for a couple of females. It's like, no, like you just lost your debate right here, man. What the heck? Take and let it make you stronger because you now. So like, so him, he gets very emotional right there. He's emotional. He's gonna be like, oh, I could, I could talk like this, but if he get very, if he say something that he don't like, he gets very like, boot tickled and stuff like that. You can just see it. Have learned. Look at his eyes. You can see it. From your mistakes and not have some fragile ego like Trump does well, that you, you can't ever admit a mistake as though you're some messiah. When he's a clearly lying moron, when you that's were, a beta male. When, Trump's a beta male. Okay, I got it. When you were growing up, yeah, were you raised by your father and mother? You better believe it. They both were in the home. Yep. And did your mother trigger your father? Uh, probably sometimes. And you would see your father being triggered by your by and your vice mother. versa. But you would see your father being triggered by your mother. Ah, uh, at times. And did you say that? Oh, my! I love my dad. He's he, he's. Triggered by my mother, you think that was normal at the time? Well, of course it's normal. Healthy relationships are ones that are two-way relationships and equal. And again, I know you want to go back to like a 1950s, so when you were keep the a woman kid. in the kitchen kind of vibe. So and I know you also have said that you think one of the biggest mistakes America made was giving women the right to vote. It's an insane opinion, but you can have it because it's American. We have free thought. When you here. were a kid. Yep and you would see your mother trigger your father. Mm -hmm. You would think as a kid, right on. My dad had been triggered by my mother. You would think that that was normal? No, my thought would be, I love to see two equal people have an equal argument in a relationship. So you love seeing your father being triggered? I just like seeing people deal with things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this dude going to get mad. This thing I can see. Look at him. Issue by issue and not stick in these camps that for some reason... People like you love to put people into camps and not see people and things issue by issue. You like to have these old, disproven, so you, false archetypes. That's all you can see the world under. It's a very simplistic way to see the world. So you like seeing your father being triggered by you your You see mother. how you won't engage me in the conversation? You just keep going back to your same questions. You like I'm advancing the conversation and you will not... You won't even respond to it, let alone acknowledge it. You won't respond to my thoughts. You just keep repeating. Look, he's already getting mad. Trying to get a gotcha of me saying no, something. No, I'm on trying camera. to get answers from you. you. I've answered every question. So you're saying yes? I like seeing my father being treated. I did by my not mother. say yes. You weren't listening. I, that's what I'm waiting for. An answer I already for answered that. many times. I told you I'm black and slow. I need like answer yes and no sometimes and blah blah. You know how black people are. They slow. And I just see humans. You know what I mean? You know better, black. Sometimes person. I see lime green or orange humans. So let me ask. Were you happy seeing your father being triggered by your mother? When was the last time you cried? You're not answering my question. When was the last yet. time you cried? Answer my question. No, yet. my I, question I, was first. Order of, of. I can't remember the last time. Maybe. But you have cried. Let me see what I, I have before. And what, what made I you cry? I used to be a beta male too. Okay. I was weak like, what, like you are. <laughs> I, was, I used to be easy trigger. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. <laughs> I said I used to be weak like you. 
beta male. So if you ever cry. I would cry at the movie. So if you ever cry, you're a beta uh, male? One time I, I, I cried over my girlfriend breaking up. She and I broke up. Uh -huh. And I went to a movie and I cried. Uh -huh. So when I got home, mommy said, why are you crying? I just said a sad movie. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a beautiful tale. But if you ever cry so now, now if you I ever cry, that, you're a beta male? Now that I asked her that. Uh -huh. When you saw your mother triggering your father, triggering your father, you thought, wow, that's cool. Nope. What did you think when you saw your father being triggered by your mother? I just thought, oh, my parents are fighting again. And how about when your, mother, your father would trigger your mother? Same. Then you, it didn't bother you to see that your father was weak. Do not go to ah, fabletters.com. Yeah, right. Do not take our historically low offer. Two for 24 shorts, one for 24. It's weak to you both ways. Let's go with back your in father, there. when your mother did it to the father, to your father. No, because it, like you keep not bother, hearing. It didn't bother you. No, because you see, keep not acknowledging me saying I do not. You didn't see it as a weakness. I do not see it as weakness okay. to show emotion or to be able to have an equal relationship. Are you an emotional I person? See that as strength, sure. Yo, um, if you do see the mom, the dad, they're arguing a lot. That does really hit you, though. It does. All right, so I don't know what this dude talking about, man. Are um, you? No. At all? Sad to not have emotion in life, huh? No, it's sad you to have it. It's a mechanistic way to live? It's sad to have it. Really? The whole no, point of life is to feel it. Men, real men are not, alpha males are not emotional males. Really? That's so sad. Only beta males. But let me ask. Feeling life to you is are weakness? Are you in favor you of the You just go big, through like a soldier? Are you in favor of the big, beautiful wall going up around the borders? No, it's such a dumb idea. It's a dumb idea. To Dude, I don't know why people think it's a dumb idea. It's a dumb idea to just let people just go anybody in your, in your uh, country for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why people... It's like, why is it bad? How? You know? How? And if you see all the stuff about it, man, it's like, what? 75% people jump in the border that's illegal. It's, it's like, well, it's people right there, the... Mexican cartel and stuff right there for uh, prostitute for people that's 11, 12, all the way to like 16, 17. And you have other ones right there. It's like drugs and other stuff like that. Same time, like 75, it's like 75% or more or something like that. But And how, and then they already, they already made some kind of things that it worked a lot. I think it's Bush when he was the president in the 2000s, whatever. They made a border where he lives over there in Texas. And I guess that the crime and all that kind of stuff from the border for illegal stuff, it went to about 80% or something. So 80% for those kind of illegal things right there you're not supposed to do, that's actually going to help people, help the, the country for things that's not good going inside. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why like people like him and the other people right there that's, oh, well, that's so stupid. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then... If you say that kind of stuff that happens, then they say, well, I just feel that it should be better. I'm like, okay, how? Like what? It's like, oh, people are still going to scissor something. Oh, well, if it's going to make a, like 60%, 70%, like people right there. Because come on, man. Fucking dumb people, man. To put the wall up around the border. It is not a racist idea like some liberals paint it, but it's a dumb idea. And why is it a dumb idea? Just like, just like, look, it's way harder to get into like Canada than America, right? Like inside, you can't have any kind of, I don't know, like tickets or a crime or anything like that. If you have like a little something right there, if you have a, I think if you have a ticket or no, no, if you have a um, DUI, it's bad. You can't even go inside, man. So this dude, come on, bro. I got to understand what you're talking about. It's That's why I have some people like this. I always want to like debate about something like that. It's like, dude. It's like, why are you debating that? When I say that stuff, if you talk to him, he just don't know what the hell he's... I mean, he doesn't... He's going to say some stuff, but he's not going to think that side. He's just thinking his side. That's how it's it looks like, like. Because a lot of illegal, undocumented people come through tunnels, which hot tip goes See, see, that's what we're talking about. Um, because so everybody's going to be tunnel? The money because already they're going to have to have flood doors opened up for months at a time in these walls to avoid floods hitting the wall and crushing it, which kind of would obviously allow... 
immigrants to come through that wall because people are already chainsawing through it. He claims it's indestructible, but it's not. You can easily cut through it. And Trump, you, Trump said in one of his rallies, you saying you, there'll not, be no way over the wall unless you have like a ladder, which, hot tip, there are ladders. Will you and people say can climb over not, them with them. Will you say it's not racist? Why do you say it's not racist to put to have Because a wall? we can protect our borders. I think it's, it's a smart idea to protect our borders. And our that's country. not racist? No. Oh, okay. Um, are you in favor of Israel having a wall? No, I mean, I really don't like the, the, the way that the Palestinian people are oppressed with no end in sight. I think there's a real problem, and there was an enormous amount of attacks coming, and the wall did help cut down on that. And so it's a hard issue. We have to get to a two-state solution ASAP. I was recently spent a lot of time in Israel and in the Palestinian territories. I spent time in Ramallah and Bethlehem and wanted to get to know both sides from a very real way. And it's humans on both sides. It's a very hard issue on both so sides. So is it a dumb idea for Israel to put a wall up? No, they were facing murderous bomb, suicide bomb attacks all the time. So, so. You're saying so people that goes right there from a third world country in Mexico. I, I'm, look, I've been in Mexico a couple of times, but I go from like a cruise, go for the day, come back and stuff. But if you go right there, I just went over there last freaking month, all right? Last month. And we went over there. It was hella fun and stuff, right? But you go one spot, you just go inside, and we got a bus because we had about 40, 45 people, right? When you go one side... We want we want to go get some liquors and stuff, and then go to this place and to a, another place. In the middle, there was like some people that had kind of like jeeps, like what a lot of people would like AK, uh, eighteen uh, wait AKs and stuff right there. People just have like some regular kind of like jeans and everything, bro. I'm like, dude, like come on, man. You think that's cool, man? This dude's talking about this. Like that's a third world country, and, and then going to the other one. Like you think people get killed in? Mexico probably more and stuff right there about little things like that. It's like this dude is just like, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> and no, it wasn't a dumb idea for Israel to put a wall up, right? I don't think that was a dumb idea. I don't. Oh, see, 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 this, see, see, see. Look, this dude just lost his debate already, man. He's just, he just don't like Trump. That's it, okay? Now, let's say if it was not Trump, if it was somebody else. He would probably, oh yeah, it's cool, but he just, he just, he, he just on one side, man. Cause look, he just, it's, it's the same thing that he was thinking about it, but just because of different places, a different country, oh, it's cool for them, but not this one, okay? Dude. America to put a wall up. Yeah, we don't have suicide bomb attacks coming from the that side of the border all the time, <sighs> or we, ever. You don't know that for sure. I do. And but we do have drug wars, uh -huh. game murders. Uh -huh. We have right, but all that can still come through a wall. We have all that coming across our borders. His right? wall is not even a wall; it's but a fence. For, you can pass drugs America, through. For America, you Wait, say. But you acknowledge. But for America, do you we even say have it's dumb idea? But for Israel, it's not a dumb idea. Do we even have this? Who do you love most, Israel or America? America. Do we even have? So why would you mm. want to protect America? Like I said, you would want to protect because, like Israel. I said, it's a lot, another lie of Trump that it's just rape. No, 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 no. What if it's not, not Trump though? Trump. Somebody else. Well, hold on. But why we would it be? About Trump's why about. would it not be a dumb idea for Israel to protect themselves? And I believe they should. Yeah, it's like, man, think about it. If it's not Trump, if it's somebody else, he will be, he'd be like putting this. Like, it's a good idea to do it. Just because Trump's saying it though, it's like, it's like. No, it's a bad one. Like, come on, man. Dude, like, come on. I'm listening the whole time. Like, am I just tripping or what? Like, not tripping. I'm not triggering it enough. I'm just saying, like, come on, man. Like, this dude don't make no sense, man. He's like, his, he lost the bait. But, yeah. but look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. For America to I just yourself. answered you because, first of all, it's an actual wall in Israel. You're aware that Trump's wall is a fence and there's holes in it, right? Um, so drugs can be passed through it. Amazing. Can so, we at least acknowledge the mutual okay fact that if, holes if, are not walls? How about this then? Let's say the president built a wall. Can we acknowledge the mutual how about fact if the president that built drugs the same go wall through? That Israel had, just like Israel wall. No, we don't need the it. Same identical wall. We don't need it. Would it still be a dumb and we idea? We can't afford it. We have a much bigger border. Israel's entire country is seven miles long. The United States is thousands and thousands of miles long. We cannot afford it. Should we put illegal aliens before American? Of course not. Okay. Um, were you born here or in Israel? I was born here. You were born here. Yep. It's like a run for president, baby. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You can't run if you're not born here, right? Yep. Ask Obama about Although, that. Although, I guess now. Ask Obama real, oh, about that. Oh, really? You even are a birther as well? <laughs> Everything Trump says, you just, you just suck it up. You're a swallower of Ask Donald Trump. Ask Obama about that, buddy. Mm -hmm. to damn. Well, this was interesting.
interesting. But I'm look at his debate. He's I'm telling you, he just think it one side. And then when it comes right there, when it goes into that side, it's like, oh, well, we don't have the fun. We don't have the money with that. But it's it's a but it's a good idea. And them. it's good what they didn't. But it's bad for over here. Like, man, this dude he's freaking dumb, man. Like to me, he's dumb. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. Can't debate that good. He thinks he's really smart. I could tell. Maybe he is smart. Maybe he is, but it he just one side though. Maybe if he just think both sides, he have way more. But ah, I see when it comes into that kind of way to the border, people get very sensitive. Like, man, for real. Like, look, man, I got my mom's side. Like I did probably say like my my mom's side from both of them to my grandma and grandpa, my great grandpa both of those sides, they're from the Philippines. And the other ones, my great grandma to my grandma's side, she's from Mexico. And then my other one's from, uh, well, no, I think my great great grandma, she's like she's from Mexico. I think she's probably from Mexico too. But the other ones are from South, I mean, uh, New, whatever, somewhere else right there, like basically born in LA and everything. But, anyways, come on, man. It's like, you, <laughs> you don't make no sense what you're talking about, man. Because, look, my people, they, my, my, my great grandparents and stuff, they came from third world countries. And like when I talk to my great grandpa, he's still alive. One of one of them, he's still alive, right? I'm gonna be like, let's talk about the Philippines. He's like, oh, I can't believe it. We're talking about, hey, let's go to the Philippines. I wanna see where you're from. Me and my other cousins, he was all like, Mio, I don't ever wanna go when, I, when I'm from. It was poor. You don't wanna go there. I'm like, all right, cool. It's like, it's great where I, where I, when I grew up, from where I was, you don't wanna be there. But he, you know, has a big Filipino accent and everything. So I'm just like, dude, come on, man. Like, people like him. He's just, it's just like, just like, just like this dude. What's the matter with this dude? See, that's why I laugh. I'm like, oh, my goodness. This dude really think that kind of way. But all right, man. Tell me what you think about this. Like, subscribe, show love, all that. Please, thumbs up, all that. And comments, man. Tell me what you think. All right, like.